Well, good morning. This is uh, an announcement that is really a long time coming. We've been working on this for, for quite a number of years, actually. And I'm pleased to be joined today by uh, Mayor Rawlings Blake, Councilman Brandon Scott, and of course, uh, Commissioner Batts. Uh, I won't steal too much of the thunder. I'd now like to introduce the mayor who can uh, tell you why we're all here. Mayor. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you. I'm very pleased to be joined here with the vice chair of the, the council's public safety committee, Councilman Brandon Scott, and Police Commissioner Anthony Batts to announce a new tool for citizens that will make it easier to to file for certain types of, excuse me, easier to file certain types of police reports. As many of you know, I am a huge proponent of using technology to strengthen interaction between citizens uh, and their government. I'm constantly challenging our city agency heads to stay ahead of the curve by investing in technology solutions that make government more efficient and more effective. A safer city uh, is a growing city, or a growing city is a safer city. They're hand in hand. And making use of the most current technology is, is especially important to our public safety efforts here in our city. For example, over the last three years, we've made major investments in our state-of-the-art crime camera system located at uh, City Watch, adding more than 100 new cameras and expanding into several new neighborhoods. Uh, some of uh, some of which the councilman is, is uh, pleased about. We've expanded um, in his area, and the police department is a lead. Not enough, you would say. No. Right? Not enough. Never but enough. but what we've expanded. Uh, the police department is also a leader in the use of social media to inform residents about emergencies as well as police news. And today we are on unveiling an online reporting system from Cop Logic Inc. It is a web-based, user-friendly interface that uh, even the most casual computer user uh, will be able to handle. The police department in other jurisdictions, including the District of Columbia, have similar systems for submitting police reports online, and they have been pleased with the results that they have seen. This web-based reporting system allows uh, residents to file certain incident types, including illegal dumping, theft from vehicle, and vandalism. And this should be a huge uh, convenience to our residents. Upon approval, police reports submitted online are issued a permanent case number, and, e and an email is sent to the citizen with a PDF file attachment of the report. An added benefit is that if this digital report is suitable for most insurance claims that require a police report. Citizens have come to expect certain police services to be accessible online, and the Baltimore Police Department ex expects this uh, online reporting service to be very popular. The system will help reduce overall police call volume and allow our officers to better focus on critical public safety issues such as reducing violent crime, reducing drug activity, and reducing major property crime. And perhaps most importantly, the service will allow the public to file a report at the time that is most convenient for them, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We will continue our commitment to reducing crime, particularly violent crime in the city of Baltimore. And with this new tool, uh, it will be an excellent resource enabling new and existing residents to take part in making our neighborhood safer as we work to grow Baltimore by 10,000 families. Before I turn it over to my friend and colleague, uh, Councilman Brandon Scott, I would especially like to thank him for being such a strong advocate for technology and government. Um, you know, I've had an a, a extremely good uh, working relationship uh, with Councilman Scott, and some people think uh, because we don't agree on every uh, topic, uh, that um, that the relationship isn't still good. It is wonderful, and I like being pushed, especially when it com when it when it comes from someone I know who has a spirit of making government better, making Baltimore safer. So I am pleased. I know you are. Uh, this is that is his excited face uh, to be here uh, to talk about this this tool. He has spearheaded this effort uh, with the city council resolution calling on the police department to create new online reporting. I want to thank you for working, uh, Councilman Scott, working in partnership with my administration on implementing this new uh, tool, and I, I hope uh, that we have the opportunity to uh, to introduce new tools to make our city safer. Thank you, thank Councilman you, Scott. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, I am very excited today. This is something that is going to be great for the city of Baltimore. 
Uh, as the mayor said, technology and the use of technology in government is very important. I'd like to thank her and her administration for their pushing technology use in our city, in our municipality. But today, online reporting is a, a pet peeve of mine. I've been working on this little secret since I worked for the mayor when she was city council president. So this is five years in the making. And this is going to be a great tool for the citizens of Baltimore, but also, uh, if you know me, you know I like to save money. That one of the great things about this system is that it calculates for us how much money the city saves, how much man hours we save to keep our police on the street so that they're not going out just to write reports from law and from autos, but that allows our commanders to better map that stuff out quicker. It doesn't have a, your citizen, you don't want to wait three hours, you don't want to miss work, you don't want to be late to work. This will allow them to get what they need from us for their insurance purposes, but also so they can be more convenient, but also so our officers can stay out on the street and stay doing what we need them to do, and that's fight the violent offenders, but also go after the people that are doing the property crimes that uh, uh, these our citizens are becoming victims of. I just want to take this quick time to thank some folks that aren't here today, but did a lot of work on this. Ms. Gail Gifford, who's no, long, no longer here, she's at uh, the Mayor's <coughs> Office of Information Technology. Andy Smullin, who works in the Mayor's Office, who uh, started working on this issue with me back in 2008. But also the Mayor, the Commissioner, and his staff, because I think that this is going to be a great thing. So everyone, please tell your neighbors, please tell your family members, your friends, that this is a new way for us to communicate with the police department. It's new, it's very user friendly, anybody can do it, and it saves you time, saves you money, saves us money, so thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Betts, I'd like to applaud the mayor and the councilmen for uh, being as supportive as they are and as they continue to be. Uh, one of the things that I'm pushing is to be fast, to be creative, and to be bold as an organization. Efficiency is something that uh, we will become better at as we move on as a police department. This is one of those steps that we are taking to move forward to be more efficient in the way that we do policing in the city. We will focus in with our new pro program on car break-ins, thefts, identity theft, illegal dumping, lost property, and vandalism, as the mayor stated. Much as the councilman said, it will free up police officer time on the low, the low grade misdemeanors that we have to focus on the high priorities of the organization as a whole. Uh, this is a, my second time of uh, being in charge of an organization that has stepped forward with cop logic. I think what the citizens, the citizens will see is that this is a positive. It will be a proactive way for them to get online to make a report. They will be provided with a report number. They will also get a copy of the report. However, one of the lessons that I learned the last time that I brought the system, like this cop logic system, aboard is that if a, if a resident still wants a police officer out there, we will allow that to happen. We will try to usher them towards the cop logic program, but we're in the business of service. If an officer is still needed, um, maybe someone is not adept at using uh, technology, we will be there. Again, I'd like to thank the mayor. I'd like to thank the councilman and my staff, uh, Major Bolero who uh, is uh, scared to death to be on TV, but she's uh, very proud to be here. She has uh, brought this to fruition for us, so thank you again. All right, we have time for a few questions. Then I can show you how to use it. Can you see that? Or do you have it up on your screen? It's all here. You okay. guys are going to get a demo also, a more in-depth demo after the press conference. But any questions? I guess that's a little better than watching this. The any point questions? is that it can also be accessed on smartphones, tablets, computers, anything that's really internet accessible. Questions? Is this online and working currently, or is there? Yes. So it's been online for about a week. We've been uh, beta testing it for a week. Um, I actually went on and played with it a little bit last week and walked through it. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. So it's very user friendly. Right, Margaret? Absolutely, sir. Anyone else? Well, how much manpower or personal power, personnel power do you think this will save in terms of efficiency? For the, do you have any estimates on that in terms? time it will save officers or I mean it's going to say we don't have any numbers quite yet Stephen we haven't really uh, been using it yet but it's yeah. it's expected to save a lot and I know that Baltimore County has had uh, huge savings Anne Arundel County and the District of Columbia and, and uh, Steve I just add that looking when we were looking at this we looked at Charlotte uh, we know that they save somewhere along 8,000 man hours but also they saved three hundred thousand dollars for the for the city when they used it the last last year all right thanks guys Thank you.